How would you like to get more kills on this new season of Rainbow Six Siege? Here are my NVIDIA graphics that will guarantee more kills, more wins, and you will see Rainbow Six Siege like you've never seen it before. My name is Bo, and let's get right to it. Alright guys, so these are my NVIDIA settings for what I use when I play Rainbow Six Siege. If you don't have this already installed, make sure you download the NVIDIA GeForce Experience. I'll link it down in the description below. So all you're going to do is you're going to go um, Alt-Z, and that's going to pull up this uh, window right here, the GeForce Experience. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide my webcam, and I'm going to teach you guys and go through exactly what I use for the settings. Alright, so... You're, right now, you're going to have Game Filter. You're going to click down on Game Filter, and you're going to have uh, a bunch of tabs up here. You have one, two, and three. You can actually toggle between different filters for a single game or just games in general, and that's really cool. Um, but strictly, you're just going to use number one. It kind of makes it easier. I screwed up when I first did this, and I had it on three, and then I would always click one, and, it, you know, just make it easy. Use it. One is there for a reason. So... Here are the settings. You guys have to do these in order. If you don't do them in order, it won't look exactly the same. I feel like that's kind of a myth when I first watched someone else do this, but it actually is true because just you just got to trust the system, all right? Here we go. All right, so first up, you're going to scroll down to add filter. You're going to click it, and you're going to scroll all the way down to where you see details. You can hit details. All right, so when you open up this tab, you're going to put sharpen all the way at 0%. You're going to take your clarity and you're going to keep it at 70 or if you can kind of get it to 73. Um, it's a little finicky. Even if you use the arrow keys, it doesn't work very well. So between 70 and 73 is what you're looking for. Your HDR toning, you're going to drop it down all the way to 17% or at least as close as you could get. I'll probably have to keep it at 18. I'd rather have it higher than lower. And then for your bloom, you're gonna turn bloom all the way down to zero. Then for your next one, tab out of that, you're gonna hit add filter again, and you scroll down to color. It's gonna pop up like this, don't worry, purple will go away. Your color tint's gonna be zero, your tint intensity is gonna be zero, your temperature, keep at zero, your vibrance is gonna go all the way up to 72, or at least as close as you can get it. Wow, I got freaking lucky, man. Wow, look at me go. All right, never happens. Then for your last one, you're going to click on this and go to brightness and contrast. For your brightness and contrast, when you open it up, your exposure is going to be 10. Your contrast will be about 30 or as close as you can get to 30. Your highlights are going to be negative 100. Your shadows are going to be negative 100. And you're going to keep your gamma at zero. And then there you go. So you're going to tab out of this. You can exit out. Make sure you... There you go. Tab out of that. And this is what it looks like. So this is what it looks like with the filter on. Nice little, you know, coastline. Looking around. Wish I had a yacht like that. All right. And then if we go to Alt-Z, hit game filter. We hit off. That's what it looks like with it off. So this is on. This is off. This is on. Off. And on you just get a little bit more color personally for me when i'm playing i really enjoy being able to see a little bit better when i'm running around um the colors are easy especially when you're in dark places so if we were to go into um the connecting room to blue bar ruins here we're gonna jump in so we're in sunrise bar right now this is what it looks like in the room that's typically a little darker than most rooms when we hit the game filter we'll hit off and on it brightens the room a little bit more so you can see especially the shadows over here in the back now it's a little more illuminated where you can see it so then i'll take you guys to another room in here and we can check this out but i will have the description below where i will pause and i will bring up the screenshot so that you guys would be able to do this so this is blue bar as we all know blue bar so where it's alt z game filter we'll turn it off see how dark it is it's pretty dark and then alt z again and on off and on and that is it and that's what it would look like when you use the filters these are the filters that i use um you can play with it but once again this is for nvidia cards only um unfortunately amd's amd has a little amd's a little weird when it comes to doing this um 
It's a completely different software that you have to use. Um, at least NVIDIA GeForce is a little bit easy to use. Another thing cool about NVIDIA um, GeForce experience, you guys could record um, and you guys could set it up to making it pick what um, things that you wanted to record. So headshots, triple kills, double kills, whatever you want. Um, and it'll all load up into a file on your computer as well. If you guys would like to see a video about that, comment down below. If not, if you guys like Rainbow Six Siege content, make sure you like, subscribe, share this video, tag it to a friend, and have a great rest of your day. Hope to see you guys on the next one. I Got him, got him, got him.